Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. I am here again with my good buddy Mo at Courtesy Dodge Courtesy. in Tampa because today you finally got in a car. We've been waiting on this car for a while. A nice one. <laughs> what are we What are we reviewing today? A 300C. The 300C, 6.4 liters of American muscle, the, pretty much the coolest 300 they've ever made. Loaded. And it just came in off the truck today. today. So today we're going to take a look at it. By the way, guys, if you are in the need of a brand new Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, or Ram, come see Mo here at Courtesy <laughs> in Tampa. He is your man. And uh, let's do it. Let's go. And there it is in the flesh. That is the 2023 Chrysler 300C. As I mentioned, I've been waiting on this car to come in and review it for you. Many of you guys have been asking me to get a review on this car, and it is truly a special car. Now, for those of you guys that are not aware, and you may say, look, the uh, Chrysler 300 has been out for a while now. Everybody knows about it. There's nothing special about it. Well, that is not the case with this one. Traditionally, you would get either the Pentastar V6, or you would get the smaller 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 Hemi, which is also a great car. This one packs the 6.4 liter uh, larger Hemi in it, 485 horsepower, 475 pound feet of torque. And we have not seen an engine like this in the Chrysler 300 since 2015. They basically took that option away for the US market. Well, it is back and they put all sorts of other special features on this car. The 2023 Chrysler 300C essentially has the exact same drivetrain that you would find in, say, a Charger Scat Pack. Same chassis, same driveline, 309 gearing, all that good stuff. 6.4 liters, as I mentioned, naturally aspirated Hemi, but it really is very punchy. If you've ever driven a Charger Scat Pack, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this particular one has a lot more luxury to it. First off, this is a lot more exclusive. Only 2,000 U.S. units will ever be made in only three colors. Colors. You're going to have red, black, and of course, white like this one. There are a lot of black pops throughout this particular car, which I really like. I think it adds to the sportiness of the car. You can see the large black grille with the throwback 300C logo on it. You can also see kind of the pops of black along the bottom here. As you get over here, you will see the 20 by 9 inch wheels, four piston uh, Brembo brakes, pretty easy to see. I love that red, the way that stands out back there. It looks really good on the chargers as well. Same thing when you get back over here. We'll talk about sticker price in just a second. You can see that large sunroof that you get in the 300C. This thing is fully decked out. When you get over to the back of the car, you can see that big black uh, Chrysler badge there. I really do like that. No mistaking, it is a 300C. Now, the exhaust tips on this particular car, they are black as well. I, just, I love all the pops of black that this car has. And you can see even on the edge, of the windows all that uh that trim there is black on this car really helping it stand out and then of course as you get into the interior of the car there are a lot of special features in there as well the interior of the 2023 Chrysler 300C feels very upgraded. I've been in a lot of 5.7 cars and a lot of the Pentastar equipped cars, and this one just feels a little bit different, a little bit more sporty. You can see the suede right here on the door, all those pops of black, like I mentioned before. As we jump in here, you can see kind of this white stitching that runs all the way across. You do get carbon fiber accents on this 300C. As I mentioned, this is a much more aggressive Chrysler 300 than the ones we've seen previously. There's that pop of black. Really do like the way that carbon fiber stands out. You do get the white pops on the seat with the stitching as well. And of course, there is that big 300C badge right there on the back. So no mistaking that. The gauges in this car are a little bit different as well. I mean, very upgraded, nice feel on this particular car. And here is what is at the heart of the new 300C, that 6.4 liter naturally aspirated Hemi, 485 horsepower, 475 torque, a very punchy engine. As we know, back in 2015, they decided to go ahead and go away from this engine in the Chrysler 300 altogether, uh, at least in the US market. I believe in Australia and a couple other small markets, they were still doing this car. But I really wish they had not taken it out of here because this is not a super light car, right? It's by almost 4,500 pounds when it's all said and done. But this engine is so torquey. It really does hit a sweet spot on this car and kind of gives it that aggression and just raw feel that you would really hope for out of something like this. And man, I absolutely love the fact that they threw this in this car. Even though it's very limited, I love to see a 6.4 back in this thing for the last kind of run of these. 
Here is the driving position in the 2023 300C from Chrysler, and man, what a fantastic place to sit. It just feels very upgraded compared to a regular Chrysler 300. I love all the pops of black. It just feels more sporty in this particular car. The carbon fiber, as I mentioned before, I mean, as you, learn, as you look around the car, you see more and more of these pops of black. There's actually black stitching that runs all the way atop the dash right here. And then you've got the contrast stitching as well, like the white you saw on the seats right over here. You've got the white on the steering wheel. This is that nice, thick, kind of like SRT type steering wheel right here. The blue gauges I absolutely love. There's really not much to not like about this particular car and the way it sits. These really beautiful seats right here that are super comfortable. It is kind of interesting because you've got SRT cues all over this vehicle, yet the sticker does not say that it is an SRT. Of course, there's a massive sunroof above my head. I'm not going to blind you with the sun, but a very luxurious place to sit with all these pops of black and the, and the contrasts in it. And then, of course, that awesome uh, 6.4 liter engine under the hood that you can rev. Oh, 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 yes. Now, I really wish that Chrysler had given us a Hellcat 300. That would have been super cool, but they never did. And up until now, the 5.7 liter Hemi was basically the bad daddy of the Chrysler lineup. Well, here we have it. 6.4 liters once again. We know back in 2015, actually ending in 2015, they gave us the SRT at 470 horsepower. But this is, after 18 years, the final iteration of the Chrysler 300, and it is truly awesome. Certainly the fastest, most powerful 300 they've ever produced and I am actually a really huge fan of this car a nice mix of power and luxury now it is an absolutely blistering day here in Florida but I've been very comfortable sitting in this car just working on things I've got my uh, nice cooled seats going uh, my 18 speaker Harman Kardon sound system I mean literally this thing just checks off all of the boxes whether you want a family cruiser or you want something to go out and actually have fun with and tear up the streets this thing will do it all I'm sitting here looking at all my performance pages launch control all the fun stuff somebody like me would want in a package like this this and uh, man you just can't say anything more about it now Chrysler I will say is a bit of an enigma to me because we just don't really know what's going on with the brand yes they they're owned by Stellantis just like Dodge Jeep and Ram um, but uh, this particular car after 18 years looks like it's going to be going away and the CEO of uh, Chrysler has basically stated hey we're looking forward to electrification so will we see something brand new uh, that's all electrified in 2024 and moving forward what are they going to replace this particular car with will it be you know reinvigorated out there some to some degree and uh will we see a new version of the 300c that's all electric i mean all of that is just kind of floating around out there yet we don't really hear much from these guys here is the sticker on the Chrysler 300C. And as you can see, 56,595, that includes your destination fee. And uh, there's no specking these out. You know, you can't do different interiors on these. They are built as they are built. As I mentioned, you get three different colors. They're all specked out the same way and they're all priced the exact same way. So if you want a 300C, you know exactly what you're getting into, at least from a sticker price perspective, then you just have to work something out with your dealer. But they're gonna come equipped exactly like you see this car here. So driving this car and listening to that 6.4 liter naturally aspirated Hemi under the hood, it's like bliss to me. Man, I really wish they were able to make more of these cars uh, because the 6.4 is just such a great engine, such a sweet spot for the street. I mean, you can even track this thing and still have a lot of fun with it. As I mentioned, it's not the lightest car in the world, but there's so much torque with this 6.4 liter engine that it, it just completely changes the driving experience all together. I mean, I could just be driving around and just tip into it a little bit. Oh, listen to it. Oh man, it really goes. It is such a welcoming thing. And I said this about the Jeep uh, Rubicon as well in the fact that, uh, you know, when I drove the 392 version of that, it really fixed everything that I didn't really like about the Jeeps. I kind of felt that they were underpowered with that Pentastar in them and they just weren't, they weren't really for me. But then I got in that car and I was like, man, th this is great. This is awesome. Well, this particular one, think about it. I mean, it basically costs the same amount of money as just your normal scat pack out there right now. It's not any more expensive, assuming you were to get it at sticker, but uh, there's a lot going on with this particular package. And for 56 grand, you do get quite a bit of car. 
Now, one thing that I do get asked quite a bit in my comments section is, how in the world do you get to drive these cars when they're limited production? Don't the customers get mad? I wouldn't want you driving my car, all that kind of stuff. Well, customer's name is David, and he was nice enough to let me do this review. Yes, I asked permission ahead of time, like I do on all my reviews, guys. So keep that in mind. And I feel blessed to have an opportunity uh, to actually take this thing down the road. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, after driving it just a little while, I will say this is probably my favorite uh, Chrysler that I have ever driven. It really is. I mean, it just checks all the boxes. I love the fact that I can change my suspension dynamically right here, just like I used to do in my Hellcat all the time. And uh, just really all the great things you would take from a scat pack, just like a scat pack charger. Just It just feels more luxurious and it has a little bit different look. I love the grill in the front, just everything they've done on the cues on this, all the black cues throughout the car, they just did it right with this particular car. And as I mentioned, it's not a $100,000 car, but it drives really, really nice. Obviously, guys, I'm being pretty nice to the car. There's no reason not to be. The car belongs to a customer who will take delivery very soon. But uh, was it worth the wait to get a review on this? Finally, we knew this has been coming out for months and months and months. Well, finally, they're starting to hit showrooms, albeit very slowly. And the answer is absolutely Yes, this is the perfect package on the Chrysler 300C. Um, you know, no longer down in power. The sound coming out of the back of this thing is absolutely glorious. I love those black exhaust tips back there, by the way. All the subtle cues around this car, you kind of have to see it in person. Just everything from the wheels, the way it sits. I mean, everything about this car is really, really good. And as I mentioned before, man, I wish they could have made 30,000 of these things. And uh, I still think they would have sold out of them. They're just that good. Now, I realize some of you guys may say, look, Racer X, I have a charger. It is no different. It's not worth any extra money, all that kind of stuff. I would encourage you folks to go out and drive. If you can even sit in one of these 300 Cs and feel kind of what I'm talking about. When I say that it feels just more luxurious, it just feels a little bit different. The gauges in this thing are just a little bit prettier. Um, and I love the chargers, guys. Don't get me wrong. As you know, I used to own one and I still absolutely love everything about them. Just, man, the sportiness and the luxuriness, the way they combined it in this car it's just it's, it's just such a cool package and there you have it guys that is my review of the 2023 chrysler 300 c i love this car guys i love the 6.4 in this the punchiness um you get all that luxury and yet you get all of the performance you get the performance pages launch control all the fun stuff in this really neat luxury package, a little bit different body on it than you would get in the Charger. Very unique indeed. It's too bad they're only making 2,000 of these. And as I mentioned, this is probably the last of the 300s that we're going to see out there after 18 years. But it is a really good way to go out. Let me know what you guys think about the 300C in the comments down below. And I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.